G'day legends. Here I am at Port Moresby Nature Park. Got a bit of hat hair going on because I had my hat on. Nothing like slip slop and slapping. It's a good idea. We come down here because it's awesome. So it's a, a mixture of the botanic gardens and a whole bunch of Papua New Guinea and native animals. There's no other animals here except the natives. And we've just gotten shown around by Lorna, who's uh, on the board, the, uh, the chairperson of the board. And uh, it's exceptional. So I wanted to take you through for a run through. So I'm gonna switch it around so you don't have to look at my mug the whole time. Now I'm not gonna take you through the whole thing. I'm just gonna take you through a sneak peek so that when you come here, anyway, you haven't got time to watch the whole thing because it's about two hours long, I reckon. So I'm just gonna give you a sneak peek so you can just get a little taste of what's here that's in store. And then, uh, and then we can bring you on down and uh, you can bring your fam bam and all sorts of people. So uh, now it's onto the park. There's the signs. There you go. And wash your hands. It's got the hand sanitizer. It's pretty modern, eh? This is the boys here looking after us. Hey boys. making sure we don't misbehave. This is the coffee shop area. Check it out. Come here and have a cup of coffee. We've currently got the, uh, the refurb going on the coffee, sh coffee shop, but that uh, Lorna said it'll be finished in a couple of weeks. And you've got your toilets there. They're nice toilets. And the gift shop. You can currently get coffee inside the gift shop while they're uh, doing up the, uh, the cafe there. And there's a whole bunch of stuff. I'll just give you a little look see in here. Look at this, hey? There's the Brittany and Arroway. Hey. Shopping. Shopping, buying awesome stuff. Found some earrings they did, eh? So this is the uh, this is where you come on in. And we'll just head down here, down the ramp. And over to the right here is where all the school kids come in. So this is sort of the education area slash where you can come and have a picnic. They don't have a dedicated education area for the school kids come down here, but about 30,000 school kids come into the park a year and get educated by the park. It's all supported by donations, corporate donations and personal donations. There's no, you know, the, the, the entrance fee does not cover um, even the cost of feeding the animals. So it's, uh, you can see some, some of the, uh, the sponsors here and, and I think there's a couple more over there. So this is the kids playground and uh, you can go in there and play if you're a kid or an adult i guess if you really want to <laughs> there's a couple more uh you know sponsors png lng and look at them all there digicel ella motors newcrest so i'll just take you for a walk past so that's the uh, there's some toilets over there i think there's a barbecue area as well if you want to come and have a barbecue you can bring food in so you don't have to eat the food that's here. And that's just to support the locals. And a lot of the locals can't afford to, especially the school kids can't afford to come in and pay the, the price of entry. A lot of the school kids can't afford to get here. So that's also sponsored by the park and the sponsors. So the school, they go and pick up the school kids, bring them down here, educate them about the, the animals in the park. And uh, they bring their food with them. And, uh, and you can do that too if you want. There's the, uh, the barbecue area there. So we'll just walk along here. And they've got these cool signs. There's no snakes in the bushes. Well, there might be, but they don't, they don't specifically put the snakes in the bushes. The snakes exhibits up further, but they got all this cool information. So it's beautiful. I mean, it, it smells like a rainforest. It's just, yeah, it's cool. And they're currently doing it up. So, um, the sponsors have increased some of the, a little bit of the funding, so they're, you know, they're painting the walkways and things like that. So you just get to walk through this, this botanic gardens. It's literally a botanic gardens, and it doesn't just have Papua New Guinean um, plants and trees in it. It has um, some, some trees from all over the world. So we'll just head up this way. Um, this is towards the, uh, the aviary area. There's crocodiles up here, snakes cassowaries, birds, an incredible array of, of, of um, animals. So here we go. 
we'll go through one bird aviary, this one ahead of us here, and uh, give you a look. See, it's an exceptional experience. It's nothing like I've seen in any zoo that I've been to for, I don't even remember. It's just, it's a little bit Jurassic Park-ish if you, if you uh, wanted me to describe it. Here's the security man, making sure all we're all organized and sorted. So it's got these double doors here. And you walk through this, this is to keep the birds out. Just checking to make sure I'm still recording. So let's go through. And you're inside an aviary where the birds are. Like it's an actual aviary and the trees have grown up to create this incredible canopy right against the outside of the aviary. And it's a reused World War II um, from the US. Uh, must have been some kind of enclosure or cover and they've repurposed as an aviary. And there is an incredible bird of paradise in here. These little top-notch, pretty little top-notch looking things here. Don't know what they're called. I'm not a bird expert. But I tell you what, they are very, very cool and pretty. And there is also, oh, here's the birds. I should show you while you're here. These are all the birds in the exhibit. So you can come down and check them all out. And they're everywhere. Like there's a little nest up there for some kind of bird. There's a, some kind of parrot, a lorikeet. We'll just keep walking and we'll see what we see. But look at the canopy. I mean, look at that. It's just right up against the edge of it, like, you know, just in some kind of Jurassic Park exhibit. Looks incredible, like you're inside the real thing. There's some more of those cool top-notch blue, purple-looking birds. It's a cool song. I'm not quite sure where that is. I'm from there's another one. Oh, there we go, look. Right there. Oh, here we go. Here's my mate, the hornbill. He's a cheeky sausage. Here we go. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Now, you might have seen the hornbill on another video of mine, not this particular hornbill. This is a very, very beautiful specimen and they're very cheeky, which might be why he or she is in their own little spot. Because the hornbills that I know is a Mr. Cheeky Pants and comes and steals your bananas and chases you around and has, plays games with you. Anyway, back, uh, back to the walk around. So you've got more areas here to come and have lunch in or if you wanted to have, a, have a, uh, an event, you can actually hire them. There's more barbecues up here. They use wood, no gas here. You have to bring your own wood. Can't use the wood from here. And they've got the fruit bats up here. They're all asleep. They're not the same as the Australian fruit bats. They're slightly different, I've been told. And they're pretty rowdy when they get woken up, but they're uh, all asleep right now, which is, uh, which is good. And they're slowly moving them. They've got 42 hectares, um, other than this park area, that they're slowly moving them into because they make a mess on the floor. And they've only moved here because of uh, some road work. So they're sort of moving them back to where they're, they're supposed to be living, where they've always lived. So here's another bridge through the rainforest and a beautiful creek full of water and it's really dry at the moment in Papua New Guinea so um, and there's still plenty of water here so this is a quite a famous photo location Instagram location you might say in the park and uh, you come up here and sit in front of it let me see if I can pull it off eh? let me see look like a butterfly <laughs> I can see why it looks cool. My mate the parrot was in here before having a chat with me. But he or she's up in there now. And we've got ourselves 
some cheeky galahs, but not the same galahs that we've got in Australia. One that's, they've got like a blue color around their eyes. And the one is a real show off. He's even more of a show off than normal galahs. Here he goes, here we go. Here we go. Mr. Sapphire, his name is. Is he gonna come down and say day? He might not. But they're having their dinner in there. And come up and say hello to Sapphire. He really puts on a show. He knows he's pretty, he's a pretty boy. And so he comes and rubs himself against the side of the cage and does all these funny poses. It's hilarious. He's a uh, from New Island, which is on the one of the westernmost islands of uh, the large westernmost islands of um, Papua New Guinea. So there's more toilets in here. If you know, if you watched a few of my videos, you know I like to look out for the dunnies. They've got good toilets here. So down here is um, we're not going to go there today. I want to leave a few things, well, a lot of things to the uh, as a surprise if you do come here. Down there is the cassowaries. They've got three types of cassowary and uh, crocodiles. And some more areas you can come and have dinner in and lunch in or whatever it might, it might be. You know, no dinner, there's no restaurant here, but you can bring your food down and, or bring buy your food and bring it in. It's more of the walk. It goes all up the behind here. There's another one of the, the uh, aviaries. We won't go in there today. Just wanna give you a sneak peek. You can go up there into that aviary. There's another one over here in front of us. I'm just gonna show you Betty, the giant python. You'll have to come back for the rest of the snakes. There's some exceptional snakes here. And here's Betty. She doesn't move very fast, but um, she's eight meters long. An incredibly large snake when you come near her. And there's uh, all sorts of reptiles up in here, inside of there. And, and they don't have any venomous snakes here. Um, so there's just no safety issues. Um, another aviary you can come in and have a look at. Some beautiful songs that they sing here. G'day. And you'll see these education signs again. This one so they know what number to call if they get bitten by a snake. There's the bird of paradise enclosure up there so you can go in there and, and check that out. We won't go in there today. You have to come here and check it out. So there's some there's some um, sponsors there of the uh, of the enclosure. This is the uh, tree kangaroo. Up in here, these enclosures here, and this one. So they're very, 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 very cute. Here's some beautiful orchids. PNG has about 10% of the world's orchids. So I won't take you in there. They're super cute. They look just like a teddy bear. This this giant woolly blonde teddy bear, and uh, you're not allowed to pat them or feed them because. And you have to be told that because they look so cute, you really do want to pat or feed them. Well, I do. You might not want to, but I do. I want to give it a little cuddle. It just feels like a little puff ball. There's some, uh, some wallabies over there. Having a cruise. It's, the, it's sort of mid-afternoon, so they're a little, bit, uh, a little bit quieter this time. So the park goes all the way over there whole bunch of areas you can go and look on over there. We've got some really cool structures that they've built here, some information about them. And uh, that gives you a little bit of an idea of um, you know, some of the places you can go in the park. This Papuan taipans cause 90% of all the snake bite cases. And they look just like, and a very endangered snake 
in Papua New Guinea and it's endangered because it just looks exactly like the Papuan Taipan. They're just more rainforest. You know, huge canoe. Absolutely huge canoe. I guess the tree that must have been used to create it, well, you know, it, it would be colossal. And here's the chapel. So people come down and rent the space out and, and set it up for weddings. And it's a beautiful location for weddings. So, and I know someone who has actually been married here. So that's fantastic. And then we're on our way back to the, uh, to the entrance. So we'll, we'll keep, we'll keep on the video until right back where you know it. So you know where we've, we finished it and you know where we're at so back to the uh, where they're painting it up again and uh, we'll pop out soon near the main entrance we will first see the uh, the area where the uh, Kids come and, and learn and have their lunch and where you can come and learn and have your lunch if you wish. And as I said to start, we offer packages to come here and everything included. And that's it. That's the, uh, the very quick tour. It's beautiful. It's, 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 it's incredible. And there's not many places that I've been to where you can come in and get that close to some of these animals like that. And uh, it's just a short 25 minute drive from, from Port Moresby or the center of Port Moresby. And they're really out to create a big course here. It's, it's, it's just all about education. It's about educating PNG school kids and the population about all the animals and the awesomeness that, uh, that they bring. and, and the opportunity of having people, you know, tourists to come and enjoy them and make money from that, you know, and then they preserve them because that's in their best interest. And uh, what a wonderful way to give back. So uh, thanks for watching. Look forward to uh, taking you on one of our, uh, on our uh, tours here and uh, see you soon.